I am going to try and make a jack-o'-lantern soap. So I extruded pieces, so that's the nose, face, and then the eyes. So those are these pieces here. And then I have a stem and leaf to put on top and these little curly cues. Now I'm going to try and use pumpkin spice which discolors brown so I'm putting orange in and hope that it won't it'll keep that orange hue um, and apparently this also accelerates. quite pleased with this soap. How cute is that? 
the nose, yes, it's a little bit shifted, um, and the eyes probably could have been a little bit lower, but look at that! It's a jack-o'-lantern! I really, really like it. It's already discolored. I know this fragrance is supposed to discolor, so I did the dark orange. You can actually see the different levels of pouring when I added fragrance separately. It's kind of interesting. Um, we'll see how much more this darkens up over the next few days, but it's just cute. I mean, come on, does that not make you smile? I'm tempted to try another face now. Um, I said, learned a few things with placing and pouring the elements, but overall, I just can't get enough of this. Um, it's one of the favorite fall soaps I've made so far. Like I said, I really want to make uh, another face now, <laughs> like have a different design and have two different faces. Like I said, it's not perfect. I realize that there's like I said, the eye shifted, the nose shifted a little bit as I was pouring. The face actually got, the mouth got a little further down than I initially wanted. But that's okay. It is still adorable. And it looks like a jack-o'-lantern.